For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He saith unto them, How then doth David in... Chapter 4 What shall we... Chapter 3. Much for God, but God for and not as it there is they are whose mouth is their feet destroy and, and the there is now we there but now the righteous even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. The Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews Chapter 13 Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. The Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Philippians. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding, the first epistle general of John. 
chapter the last, that and the this if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth us from all sin if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us ha folks listen matthew 7 says ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find matthew 6 says if we if if we forgive those that have sinned against us we will be forgiven but if we do not forgive those that have sinned against us we will not be forgiven i repeat matthew 6 says if we forgive those that have sinned against us we will be forgiven but if we do not forgive those that have sinned uh, against us we will not be forgiven matthew 7 says asking you shall receive seeking you shall find mark 9 says all things are possible to those who believe hello hello youtube viewers listen to me if if you're like me and you're legally blind and or visually impaired listen i have two brothers that i love but they can kind of be annoying listen i put i put my most important reminders in my in my in my amazon echo because i can't read and sometimes my devices won't read them to me and sometimes i keep my phone turned off because because some days people won't give me a moment's privacy so it is for that reason so it is because i'm legally blind and sometimes my phone keeps ringing because people people want to check on me so much and sometimes I can't get privacy when I want left alone. It is because of my visual impairment. And plus, sometimes people want to call and check on me so much that I can't have a moment alone. That I have put on my most important reminders in my Amazon Echo device. Well, listen. Lately, my brothers have been have been telling me that those that those reminders get on their nerves. And honestly sometimes they can get on my nerves too but but if i didn't think i needed them they would not be in my amazon echo device but listen i just had the idea to clear my reminders off of my ipad and put my most important reminders on my ipad and put the least important reminders on my iphone because sometimes i keep my phone turned off just to not be just to not be checked on all the time sometimes i keep my phone turned off just so people just so people can't check on me and, and see how I'm doing all the time when I don't want bothered or or checked on. So folks, listen to me. If you're like me and you sometimes can't get a moment left alone and if you are visually impaired or legally blind, I strongly, strongly urge you put a reminder that is very important. Put the reminders that are very important on your iPad, do not put the most important reminders on your iPhone. Put the most important reminders on your iPad. That way, you will not bother others that you live with. That way, people can't check on you when you want to. That way, you can turn your phone off and still and still get reminded of of the most of the most important reminders. I hope this video helps you. No need to thank me. Only thank the 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 Lord. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, 
holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body,